You said, I have never had a musical ambition in my life, uh, only a spiritual one. My lifelong journey in music and its magic has only ever had one aim, to find peace of mind. Um, after after 50 years of playing music, uh, you've been playing professionally since you were 19. Yes. How has the search for peace of mind in music gone for you? How, how does it change over time? How does it change? Yes. Well, I don't know if the aim has changed. But <laughs> to tell you the truth, this morning, this very serious question, of course. Mm -hmm. So you start off like this. <laughs> <laughs> on the big yes. court. Yes. <laughs> okay. Improvise. On yes. One. Yes. yes. <laughs> I hope for <laughs> warm up. All right. I I will say that uh, I am not sure that I am capable of doing what I should do and understand what I should understand. Mm -hmm. But I know that through music and through the life that I've had in music, all the people I met. All the things I've been doing over the years have told me that there is a meaning. I'm just not sure I am able to do what some are able to fulfill the idea of getting that meaning into my life. Mm. I'm not sure I'm clever enough, if you can use the word mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. clever. Oh, <laughs> this is an interesting question, yes. So we start with something a little more light, light, uh, maybe, maybe... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, so uh, that, is my, that is where I am now. I know music has given me as much uh, as listening as playing, mm -hmm. of course. Playing is so ambitious for you. It's so personal to play mm -hmm. that you sometimes overdo your ego. Sure. The ego is, in a way for the understanding sometimes. Mm -hmm. But when I hear Olivia Machin, my favorite composer, French composer, and Ravel, Debussy, and all these emotional composers, they tell me, yes, even Frank Sinatra, even Miles, even those things that are so deep, unless they might not know it and might not want it, they just tell me, yes, there is a meaning in why we're here. Because sometimes I don't know if I can see it. Huh. The, the way that things are going in the world, you know. Yes. Well, I, I, I wanted to ask you, I wanted yeah. to get to that in a moment. All right. uh, All right. But but uh, you were talking about uh, the ego and certain players that, uh, that um, and composers that enable you to get out of the way. Mm. What about um, your old friends and, of course, your wife in the band that you played yes. with here? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, you're with Helen Davies yes, yes, and, yes. Uh, and Marilyn Mazur. Marilyn Mazur and, and, uh, and Michael Mazur, you, yes. Yes, you've described playing with them as easy as saying hello. <laughs> In a way, I mean, we have we have lived so long time together. We have played in so many combinations that we don't even need to rehearse. Of course, we need to rehearse if we want to play a theme. Mm -hmm. And we rehearse the theme. But generally, uh, to, take, to be part of that stream of experience, of believing each other, of musical capacity. Mm -hmm. they, they, we have so with so many possibilities. Of course, we have different cultures. Helen, for instance, if mm -hmm. you ask for that, she comes from Wales mm -hmm. and has that tradition with her. And when she plays a song from Wales mm -hmm. or our island where she lived a lot, you have the feeling that the song cannot be different than this. Mm -hmm. And she's doing something that even if we live together. Uh, in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. I would never be able to play it in the same way. And sometimes there are things that I do based on my background, my mm -hmm. culture, my experience, my way of thinking, cannot be different. But this combination of and Marilyn with her freedom in uh, sure. in uh, space, you know, you know, she's a very free lady. And, and, and that's why we, we chose this combination of different flowers in the bouquet. Mm -hmm. And together, they're different colors, but when you put them in the vase, mm -hmm. you feel that they, they match. Yes, yes. even if they're different colors. Yes, yes. No, no, I, that leads me to another question. How misleading is it for us to think of uh, there being a Danish sound in jazz or a Danish style in jazz? Because it's clear from your performance yesterday, there's a lot of dissolving of boundaries. Mm. There's a lot of, 
of mm -hmm. letting go. Exactly. Yes. yes. But uh, what's your take on, on this idea of a oh, deep sound? Maybe I would dare to quote an uh, American uh, composer who just died, George Russell. Okay. I was very, very close to George. I was part of his of his orchestra. Mm -hmm. And he often used, you know, he had a very fine relation to Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. He loved Scandinavia. He has a son in Stockholm, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and he uh, often asked me to open the concert with the sound, with the reverb, with the delay mm -hmm. things, all that kind of thing. Because he said, you, you Scandinavians, he said more Scandinavians than Danish, because there is a difference between Norway, Sweden and mm -hmm. Denmark. Because Norway is so big. <laughs> That means that they, the folk tradition is still up there, mm. but in Denmark it's so small that some of it dies out. Mm. It's, it's easier to... Uh, the Americans who came to Denmark, Dex, uh, mm -hmm. Ray Pitts, uh, you name it, Stan Gates, many of them were there for a long time and had a tremendous influence on mm. our musical standard. Although in Norway they were also there. But there were two reasons why they stayed in Denmark. It was easy to get out to other places. Right. The airport. Paris, London, Copenhagen. <laughs> they could easily come out. Uh, in, in Norway they had to go to Copenhagen and blah, blah, blah. Right. So, so they chose that. But as you see now, Norway, I'll come back to your question. Sure, sure, sure. Norway, uh, there's such a fantastic experimental scene in Norway based on that up there in the, in the hills. All the way, I, was, I mean, if you go from Oslo all the way up, it's the same as going from Oslo down to Rome. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's an incredible long country. Yeah, and so Denmark the, is pinned, you know, by, Denmark the, by is the water and, and then, <laughs> blah, 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 yes. yes, by the main river. You could overfly it in so. two hours, in one hour, you, it's, it's just very little. But the question is, George was very influenced by the, the Scandinavian Sea.